Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create uh, an Ajax form. Uh, our form will have just two fields. Uh, we won't be submitting this anywhere. It's just to show you actually how to make Ajax calls uh, to PHP to validate for form fields, then how to nicely fade out the form and show the confirmation message. So if we leave all, the, all of the fields blank, click on Submit, the Ajax call is made. Uh, PHP validates whether the posted uh, fields contained any values. If they haven't, it returns the error. And obviously, our uh, validation errors are displayed. If we fill in the form with some data, my mail, for instance, and click on Submit, form fades out and confirmation message fades in. So let's, uh, first of all, obviously we need to download jQuery because we're going to be using jQuery for this purpose. So if you go to jQuery, docs.jQuery.com, downloading underscore jQuery, uh, hash symbol, uh, current underscore release. We go to the current release and let's download the minified version of jQuery. So click on the minified. Uh, let's copy the name of the file. Uh, go to our editor, create a JS folder. Obviously, with this video, you could download the exercise files, which basically contain the CSS folder with uh, some styling, uh, style sheet with the styling for the form. So create the JS folder uh, and create this new file. Now, if we go back, copy the entire content of this file and paste inside of this file, save it and close it. Now create another file inside of the JS folder, called it functions.js. I leave it blank for the time being. Inside of our the root of our site, also we need to create index.php, and let's fill it up with some, some basic structure of the HTML page, which is basically a head, meta tags, uh, body, and HTML tags. Okay, now inside of the body, uh, in between the body, opening and closing body tag, let's type diff with the ID of wrapper. Now let's create another div with a class newsletter form. You can obviously uh, create your own class name. Uh, it doesn't matter because this uh, specific class doesn't have any formatting. It's just for later on that we can actually refer to it from within the JavaScript. And now let's create the form. I'm going to use clips here and coder, which I've created earlier. We're going to go for the table with the form. Okay, so we've got our form. Let's give it an ID of the same what the previous class was, which is newsletter form. Um, table uh, with the cell padding, cell spacing, border uh, set to no and class tbl underscore insert now the first element will have the first uh, heading will have a, a class assigned to it full name and label in between the, the opening closing th tags for full name Let's actually put this label here so that we can actually see it a little bit cle clearer, more clear. Okay, and we have full name. Then in between the TD tags, we're going to put an input field. Uh, so we go to form input. Okay, this one will have name of full name and ID of full name as well. We just put on a new line so that we can see it better. Okay, uh, we will be actually creating this on the new within new rows. So TR, we closing TR here, opening TR right after. So heading is on within its own row, and uh, and the input field as well. Now, if we copy the entire thing, these two rows, copy them underneath. This time, we replace full name with email address and obviously class will be changed as well to email the heading then for email name email and ID email as well okay 
Okay, let's remove this. We only have one button with the class SBM and input within this label with the ID BTN. You obviously can format your own button using your own classes and so on. Okay, so that looks like we've got our form ready. Uh, let's move to the next video when we're going to start looking at functions.js file.